Marte Logan, fatally shot a man who stood on a sidewalk in November 2022, then showed crime alerts of the fatal attack to two other people, who he tried killing days later. This, is the Cartoon News Network's unbelievable, but true story of Chicago's craziest Kia boy, Marte Logan. Since the videos started spreading on social media, that took Kia and Hyundai vehicles in Chicago third from about 500 in the first half of 2022 to more than 8,000 during the second half of the year. Just before 6 p.m., on November 13, 2022, Marte Logan was riding in the back seat of a stolen Kia when it pulled up to a liquor store in the 200 block of South Laramie, prosecutor Danny Hanikak said. Marte jumped out, gunned down 24 year old. Terry Lowe, who was standing outside the store, and then returned to the Kia, which sped from the scene. Lowe, shot six times in the eye, face, head, torso, back, and legs, died. Hanikak said that, both public and private surveillance cameras recorded the murder. That evening, 20-year-old Marte, drove the same stolen Kia to the home of 16-year-old girl. At her home, Marte changed clothes, and then pulled up the Citizen app on his phone, while talking with the girl. The Citizen app, lets users see recently dispatched 911 calls in their area. Marte, showed the girl the Citizen entry about Lowe's murder, and told her that he was the person who killed him, Hanikak said. He allegedly told the girl that he went to the area to gangbang, and decided to kill Lowe. The next day, Marte Logan, saw the girl again. This time, he pulled up the social media account of, Legal Help Firm, a law group that routinely posts pictures of Chicago homicide victims, Hanikak said. Marte, showed the girl Legal Help Firm's post about Lowe, and told her that it was the man he killed the night before. Marte, obtained another stolen Kia on Thanksgiving Day 2022, and dropped it off at the girl's house so she could have it, according to Hanikak. Around 9 PM, the girl's 17-year-old boyfriend, started the Kia with a USB cord, and drove away with his girlfriend in the passenger seat. Alright this is the part where everyone recognizes that, Marte Logan, was a 20 year old man trying to impress a 16 year old girl, by bragging about murdering another black man. What type of, no pussy getting, ugly ass nigga type of shit is that? I would say the nigga was, pussy whipped, by an underage 16 year old girl, but I don't think he ever got the pussy and I don't know what's worse. What I do know is this, black men killing each other is genocide, and Marte Logan, is not a player. Now we play a role! You know, you ain't no player! Read my lips! You ain't no player! You don't know nothing about being a player! Better than a head joy, cause it went for about 30 years! Nobody got me pussy with eyes! With pussy! <laughs> Pussy whipped Kia boy, Marte Logan, bragged about a murder to his 16 year old girl, to impress her, and her 17 year old boyfriend, to scare him, but he got played. Marte Logan, steals another Kia, gives it to the girl, and her boyfriend uses a technique taught in TikTok videos, to take his girl out on a date. Logan pursued them, in yet another stolen Kia, and opened fire on their vehicle in the 2900 block of West Roosevelt, according to Hanikak. The Kia was hit, and its windows shattered, but the couple was unharmed. The boyfriend sped onto the Eisenhower Expressway, followed by Logan, who pulled up next to the couple and began shooting again. This time, the girl was shot in her head and back, and the boy was shot in his back and leg, Hanikak said. Logan's Kia, sped from the scene, According to Hanikak, the girl and her boyfriend, only told authorities about Logan's connection to Lowe's murder after they were shot. Logan, he claimed, targeted the couple because of an interpersonal conflict. When police arrested Logan, he was wearing the same distinctive jacket as the gunman who killed Lowe. His phone's location data placed him at the scene of the murder, and the Thanksgiving Day shooting, Hanishak alleged. Logan's defense attorney said, he has one child, and is restarting high school as a freshman, after taking time off to work. Obviously, Marte Logan, is a dumbass, but he isn't the dumbest Kia boy in Chicago, he was just pussy whipped. No, I'm not. I get through the 
Thank you, pussy. What? If Marte Logan isn't the dumbest Kia boy in Chicago, then who is? According to CWV Chicago, Giovanni Brown, might be the correct answer. A Northwest Side man accused of trying to steal two cars, tried to talk his way out of trouble by telling cops he was simply a dumb teenager who wanted to take a car for a joyride, Chicago police say. While bold, the strategy failed for Giovanni Brown, 18, who is now charged with two counts of burglary and criminal damage. Police responded to calls of a suspicious person trying to open car doors near the 8300 block of West Addison, in Dunning, around 9.30 p.m., on August 22, 2023. When they arrived, a witness reported that a man tried to break into a Hyundai Sonata, and pointed toward Brown, who was walking nearby, a CPD arrest report said. The cops went to Brown, who told them he wanted to explain something, the report continued. After Brown confirmed his rights, he freely continued to make incriminating statements that, he is a dumb teenager, and wanted to take a car for a joyride, officers wrote in the report. The officers explained that, joyriding was actually stealing a car, to which Brown said, he just wanted to go around the block to see what it felt like. Hee haw, hee haw, you stupid motherfucker, you dumb. And if Giovanni Brown is the dumbest Kia boy in Chicago, then the shadiest one is, Taylor Gilbert. On January 28, 2023, a Kia boy sped away from Chicago police at 80 miles per hour, crashed, and ran from the scene, leaving two passengers behind with broken bones, prosecutors said. Taylor Gilbert, 18, was already on bail for another felony stolen motor vehicle case, and a separate misdemeanor case involving a stolen car when police saw him driving a Kia Forte, near 83rd and Vincennes. Chicago cops noticed the Kia's rear side window was broken, which is common among stolen cars, and its headlights were off. So, they popped the U-turn and tried to pull it over. Gilbert, sped away, ran a red light, weaved in and out of lanes, cut across the median into oncoming traffic, then returned to the correct lane as he reached speeds of 80 miles per hour in a 35 miles per hour zone, Assistant State's Attorney Nicole Murphy said. The police, backed off because Gilbert was driving so erratically. But Murphy said, they watched from a distance as he jumped another median to avoid traffic, stopped for a red light, then lost control and crashed into a utility pole in the 9300 block of Southwestern Avenue, just across the border with suburban Evergreen Park. Gilbert ran from the wreckage, but police arrested him nearby. Two 15-year-olds, including a girl, who were riding in the Kia weren't so lucky. One suffered a broken femur, and the other suffered broken bones, too, according to Murphy. And if Taylor Gilbert, is the shadiest Kia boy in Chicago, for leaving his friends in the car with broken bones, then Merja Maymetti is the unluckiest Kia boy Chicago ever saw. Just look at him for a second. On November 3, 2023, a Skokie man driving a stolen car, suffered a broken nose and a closed head injury after multiple people tracked him down, and detained him, for Chicago police at a Northside gas station, according to a CPD arrest report. Cops responded to calls of a battery in progress at the Shell service station at 4346 Northwestern. When they arrived, they found those, multiple people, on top of 29-year-old Merjim Maymedi, the report said. A Palatine man at the scene, told offices that his son borrowed his Kia Stinger to go to sports practice on the north side, but, the son either dropped the car keys or someone stole the keys from his bag. Either way, the Kia was gone after practice. The man began tracking the Kia using Lojack, and his son's Find My Phone app. Before long, they were at the Shell station, watching Maymedi as he used the key to get into the Kia, the arrest report continued. Police said the victim and witnesses, confronted Maymedi, and detained him until police arrived. The owner, claimed he did not know Maymedi, who was treated at Swedish hospital for injuries he received during the, detention. Please, put some pressure on that like button and subscribe to the Cartoon News Network.
if you agree that the best method for preventing thieves from stealing your Kia or Hyundai vehicle in Chicago is to not drive your Kia or Hyundai in Chicago. I've cracked jokes in this video, in an effort to entertain, but make no mistake, the Kia boys represent a serious threat in our communities. Cars are often stolen to commit more serious crimes like, murder, and most Kia boys are rarely caught. NBC5 responds by the public records request with the Chicago Police Department to see just how often someone stole a Kia or Hyundai in the city, and how often someone is caught. They found more than 12,000 Kia Hyundai deaths reported in Chicago over a 14-month period, from June of last year to July of this year. That's the rate of 29 Kia and Hyundai stolen in the city every single day. According to the city of Chicago, Kia and Hyundai thefts specifically account for more than half of all vehicles stolen in the city this year. NBC5 Response also wanted to know how many arrests were made for those thefts during that same time period. Our analysis showed a total of just 249. That's an arrest rate of just over 2%.